What is happening there, Reject Nation? Greg and John here today to watch the new Disney movie, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. Now, full disclosure, I have no familiarity with Chip and Dale's. On the other hand, he has... I grew up on Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers. But this movie should tend to all. Anywho, guys, thank you so much for being here. You can catch the full length watch along where you sync over the time code for super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. Cover a bunch of shows over there as well. Some shows have exclusive of reaction highlights included and uh, if you can't do that please leave a like that'd be very much appreciated and your thoughts on this movie down below also subscribe for the notification bell if you follow the channel already you'll see we've been covering quite a bit of movies and shows already and lastly thanks to the boys at prepper if you guys are in need of an editor they are a great people to, great a great people to work with a great people to work a great with. a great a people a great people of editing to work with <laughs> all right let's do this Cool. What's the first thing that pops into your head when I say Chip and Dale? Rescue Rangers. The London-based cabinet maker from the 1700s. Sick cabinet, Thomas. But I bet the <laughs> second thing that pops into your head are these guys. Yes. But certainly third would be those rascally cartoon chipmunks, Chip and Dale. Everyone say hello to Dale. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet ya. I know. This is cool. It's in my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, no, no. It's a joke, see? I'm fine. You're weird. Hmm. Aw. God, people weren't kidding about the By Roger lunchtime, Rabbit thing. No one wanted anything to do with me. So I had to sit alone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I sit? <gasps> I, I have that lunchbox. <laughs> it was excellent comic timing. Really? I kind of wish I hadn't done it. No way, man. The biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. Themes! <laughs> Chip was so funny and thoughtful about everything. And I never thought about anything. We were perfect together. Wow, that's cool. He introduced me to Cheesy Crust Pizza and funny yeah, old I mean... movies. <laughs> Even the old movies got cartoons in them. Amazing Dale will juggle everything. Hey! Oh. We knew we had something special. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we never saw trailers for this, so this is our first look at everything. Yep. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be this animation style, like yeah. Roger Rabbit. Yeah, this will be a completely authentic reaction. It's and after landing a few small parts, we finally got the call. <laughs> Our own TV show. It was about a group of little detectives who would solve big crimes. There was the adventurer, Monterey Jack, the inventor, Gadget Hackwrench, and Zipper. <laughs> With Chip as the logical straight man and me as the fun loving goof. Good my God. Wow. Birds. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen any of this. Oh yeah, it's taking me back. That's eh. a wrap, folks. Kiva. Uh, nice work, everyone. Great job. Wow, Truly. this is so much like Roger Rabbit. Never in my wildest dreams did I think we'd be here now. So to you, Dale, my best friend, and to all of you, and to everyone who loves a short toast. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's, not, that's her actual voice, isn't it? We were living the dream, high on the hog, all night long dancing the Roger Rabbit with Roger hey, Rabbit. Whoa. Cool. Oh my God. Ta da! <laughs> Double O Dale. That's hilarious. What is that? It's wild, right? It's my new show. I'm going to be a super spy. New show? Uh oh. Why didn't you talk to me about it first? We tell each other everything. I just wanted to make sure the show was going to happen first before I got your hopes up. My hopes? Uh, what? Oh. If you do this, they might cancel the show. No, they won't do that. I mean, everyone knows you're the favorite, and I'm just the guy who gets hit in the head with a pipe each week. It's fine. I did think Chip was a bit cooler. I'm a little more popular than you. Do you know how dumb that is? <laughs> I am the dumb one. Oh, John. Oh. <laughs> That's why I never embraced my inner Dale. Oh. Do not do it. I'm so sorry. Go for Dale. <laughs> John and I had this exact conversation oh. a week ago. Sorry, man. 
Just couldn't turn down the showbiz life. It wasn't anyone's fault in particular, just one of those showbiz things. Oh. But now we're ready to bring it back. Oh my god. Oh snap. This has been chapter one of Dale's Tales. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below. He's an influencer. Yeah, with an iPhone 4. And a gamer Thor. <laughs> Balloon. Well, <laughs> here likes a little jack. Cool. They believe the crowd is for you. What is this movie? <laughs> I love it. Yeah, Dale. I'm an Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> Ugly Sonic. No. There you go, kid. Oh, they're laughing at me. I know that. You can't hurt my feelings if I'm in on the joke. Are you though? Wow. Dang. I've been offered a new reality show where I do ride-alongs with the FBI. A TV show? You? Yeah. Is that so difficult to believe? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I should give him a call. See how life's treating him. Life He's is the worst. Washed up. Which is why you need good insurance. Oh, no. He remained 2D. Yeah, man, I did sell out. I mean, out. not too deep, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Hand drawn. I'll take the whole package. Fantastic. You're making the right choice. Coercive insurance. This is how Space Jam and New Legacy should have been done. I know, God, take notes. <laughs> want to get a drink to celebrate? Sorry, everyone. Can't tonight. Millie's waiting for me. Are you sure you <laughs> don't want to see my new pad? <laughs> oh, pad. Frog based humor. No thanks. <laughs> That's just a taste of what you get from me outside the work environment. <laughs> <laughs> I have a man as his wife. <laughs> yeah. Or Selma Hayek or something. <laughs> Oh, always knew well, chip was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Flounder's disappearance marks No! No. <laughs> Last two months, cartoons missing. Frozo tunes. There's so before. many Easter eggs. Ah. The chipmunks are back. And this time Wowie. they're rapping. <laughs> this time they're rapping. <laughs> they're rapping. They always have to make the cartoons rap. Yeah, yeah. so what we like because we're young people and we yeah, rap. That's what we identify. Fellow children. I got your voicemail. You said you were in trouble? Uh, I screwed up, Chip. My love of cheese got the best of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally going to joke that. Uh, yeah. ah. <laughs> no! Why should throw my cheese at? Oh, God, Joe. Now I owe a ton of money to the Valley King. Did you hear what happened to that little guy, Flounder, when he fell behind on Krill payments? Oh. <laughs> no. And change him around to try and sneak by the copyright laws, and then... <laughs> when he will spend the rest of his life being forced to make terrible bootleg movies. No. Diabolik. You look the same. Yeah, thanks. And you look different. Ah, uh, hey, it's no secret I had the CGI surgery done. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, if you're really in trouble, you know how to find me. Dale, you were also here. Doesn't sound like he's actually over at Squidward. Ah, <laughs> uh, couldn't read the others. Reboot. Think they can squeeze a dollar. Fast and furious babies. <laughs> babies take the wheel. I've been fine about it. Oh no. Mr. Doubtfire. Better Chun Li. <laughs> Justice for Chun Li. Batman versus E.T. <laughs> well, who was on the Gucci poster? Dang. Wanna hang after the show tonight? I know a great place for cheesy crust pizza. I'm sorry, man, but we got other plans, you know? <laughs> oh. oh my god, is he working at actual Chippendales? I think he might just be. E.T. <laughs> back. Fun. <laughs> yeah, right. Like that would happen. How does he have a copy? <laughs> yeah, <I agree. laughs> Chip's a bootlegger. I just got a call from the police, and Monty's been kidnapped. What? Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to head back to his apartment. I'll meet you there, okay? 
<laughs> Cars. <laughs> yeah. How many intellectual properties are there? More than Dizzy. Yeah, they must have thrown down some money. <laughs> Yo! Oh, this, this is, is so awesome. impressive. You the friends of the victim? You got anything for me? Any known enemies or... The J.K. Simmons? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop motion J.K. Simmons. Sweet Pete's got his fingers in every illegal business from bootlegging to stinky cheese. Getting rich while we look like we just fell off the turnip truck. All done, sir. Oh, you scared the beans out of me, Steckler. Sorry, sir. <laughs> Why don't you just leave the real detective work to me, okay? <laughs> right. Sorry, sir. Chief, the press. Oh, oh, <laughs> me. Oh my God. But if you guys can find that bootlegging facility, I think you'll find your friend. Wow. Thank you. And thank you again for watching the show. It really means a lot. You are gross. <laughs> I'll be in touch. You're amazing. <laughs> It's a trap. She's trapping them. Yeah, she's too, too nice. We can't just let him rot in some overseas studio being forced to make bad movies. If he's gonna make bad movies, he should be making them here with me. What a cool shot. We have no idea where to start. We don't even know what we're... Jeez. Who moved the cheese? <laughs> so you're saying the rescue rangers are back? No, because there's no such thing as rescue rangers. Case closed. Case? No, this is not a case because we're not real detectives. <laughs> oh, but you did say case. Yes! Oh, you damn right, it's a case. Clever. A clever movie. Yeah. <laughs> Think I know my own character, Chip, and he wears a top hat. Wrong side of the tracks. Uh, this place is pretty shady. It's the wrong side of the tracks. Because nothing's safe. <laughs> On Main Street. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Disneyland Main Street. A shiny shoe, now there's a plan. Stolen social security numbers. <laughs> no pretty. thanks, kid. Oh. Muppet fights. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the happy time murders <laughs> happening across town. Do you have any cheese for sale? We've got the monster, the gouda, the brie. Do you have any stinky cheese? You cops. <laughs> 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 This really is like a spiritual sequel to Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Take a look at this photo. It's a friend of mine named Monterey Jack. Which is also the name of a cheese. <laughs> My boss, Sweet Pete, he loves actors. I think you should meet him. You were about to get kicked out with your plan, and now, thanks to my sweet improv, we're going to see Sweet Pete. Oh, you're insane. Am I? Of course. So you'd rather just give up? No. Oh, just wait you should have just let me take the lead. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're here. The way they've blended all these different styles together is fantastic. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> cats! Justice for, for cats! For the uncanny valley. <laughs> <laughs> Weird animation style in the early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Where everything looked real, but nothing yeah. looked right. Still happens sometimes. So jellical. Sh Shield credit. <laughs> what? That's Seth Rogen. Who are you? Oh, Is wow. He talking to us? I can't tell. Oh. It's like Beowulf. <laughs> I'm a Beowulf, yeah. Sid, who are you? Well, right. But in fairness, <laughs> it looks like you're talking to that window. Nope. It actually looks like I'm looking right at you. Okay. Look at my eyes, looking right at your eyes. <laughs> Here we are! <laughs> Those are chipmunks. Hello. Ow. What? No. No. You can't say nothing to me I haven't heard already. Jimmy, please untie our guests. It's Will Arnett, right? Yeah, I think so. I recruited other tunes to star in more movies. <laughs> and Jasper the Dead Ghost Kid Spaghetti, Spaghetti Dogs. dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm thinking it's time for a Chippendale reboot. Jimmy, you come with me. Yep, we're dead. Run! Whoa. Ready? Show! Hey, that's my personal bathroom. <laughs> the ponytail. Ah, Chip, the water's fine. Oh, dang it. Oh, okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> No, no, I'm done. <laughs> Try to grab something. No, no. Ew. Bro, oh, cool. no. Paddle ball. Ready? Jump. <laughs> I want to live in this reality. We didn't learn anything of value, except for that Sweet Pete wears the same step tracker that I do. Do they keep track of everywhere you go? Yeah, I know because I like to map my runs in the shape of a butt. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell her about the butt thing. I can't promise that. I love how it commits to the genre so much. Yeah. Stylistically, the way it's cinematography is too. It's like so it really cares. Hold, it's <laughs> Those legs are catching it. I think I have exactly what we need. Don't move. He's wearing his outfit from Palm Springs. <laughs> oh my. Disney Parade Fire. Oh, I had that game. Ah. Oh. Got them all. Cattery's not included. Uh, Throw mummy uh, from the train. Dirty rotten typers. I had dirty rotten typers. Hey, see? You're part of the club. Wow, so cool. I know, right? Unfortunately, I only have 11 of the 12. I'm missing the main one of all of us together. Ah, it's just old junk. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh oh. I say we have about an hour before anyone notices this van is missing. So, wow. shake a tail. That is a high-tech van. Don't do your bad New York accent. Chip, I hear you, but it's an unreasonable ask. Yo, we're here to clean the pipe. <laughs> or did you forget about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go Yanks! And hot dogs, bagels, and pizza! <laughs> <laughs> and coffee! And I'm walking here! <laughs> and taxi! Hey, you two! Uh, this water fountain good? Uh, Are the pipes clean to drink from? Oh, um... Hey, they're cleaner than Broadway, baby. I'm walking here. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. You need to stay up on those pipes. Out of sight. Yep, on it. Oh, yeah, that feels great, man. Oh, yeah. Come on. I got the kids on the way. Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> Screech MacDuck! Seriously, how many properties are in this? <laughs> there it is. <gasps> Yikes. Oh. You're the rescue rangers. I am huge fanboy! Cool. No way. Is this a remix of the Disney Afternoon theme song? You made this? You are knowing it, brother. Now you do a rap on it, yes? Oh, oh I don't know. Give me one second, Dale here, bro. Kids did the rap. <laughs> they are not rapping right. There is nothing oh, more pathetic no. than an old cartoon character trying to seem cool again by rapping. Chip, I hear you, but I don't think we have much of a choice. Oh, oh no. <laughs> here I go. Oh, geez. My name is Dale. Kick it! Oh no. And I'm in hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Dale. I don't eat whale. Why would you say that I eat whale? I don't eat whale. <laughs> Once you rhyme Dale with whale, you can't think of anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Scale. Whale. Pale. Pale. Rail. Tail. Hail. Snail. Kale. Braille. Uh, zoopy song. Zoopy, zoopy, zoopy song. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cause he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> It was like professional. professional. <gasps> Same, Same time. time. <gasps> Jinx, you owe me a non-brand specific cola. <laughs> what? That, that was crazy. <gasps> Somebody call Guinness, Guinness Book. <gasps> this <laughs> is <laughs> incredible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but your bad rapping was the perfect distraction. So good. Thanks. I totally thought we were busted, but then you just fully went for it. You busted some rhymes. San Pedro Docks. Yes, we got him. I feel good. Who's watching your dog? <laughs> There's pee everywhere in your house now. Spend you for going behind my back, Steckler. And I hope we don't get attacked by the Rugrats this time. <laughs> Ready the battering ram. The regular Rugrats are the grown up ones. Awesome. <laughs> Who directed this? Did Akiva direct it? Who? From Lonely Island, Akiva uh, Schaefer. Oh, okay, that Maybe. makes more sense in genre styles. Sir? Whoa. I think I found some. The answer's justice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't find a light switch. Wait, no, 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 no! See? Nothing to worry about. I guess you're right. Uh, oh uh, no. What have you done? I cracked my tongue! <laughs> You could have made it in there. <laughs> the machine is gonna try and surgically re-edit you, so try to avoid that. It's gonna switch bodies. Are we about to get waffle fried? No, I think it's scanning them and rendering what they'll look like in different animation uh, styles. Uh, 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 yeah, Sims. Oh my god. Cool. Two minute in name. This body is meant to be looked at, not touched. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, shoot that wire. You remember? I guess a couple things are coming back to me. Then let's do it. How different could it be? Very different. <laughs> Done. Yes. Pancakes. Come on. It's like it was designed for them. It's probably designed watching that episode. What the? Oh my. Jimmy Neutron's hair. Look at all these parts. Oh, no. Oh! <gasps> mustache. Oh, my God. It's a serial killer. Yeah. It's twisted. He's been bootlegged. It's time to get some guns! Yeah! <laughs> Chip and Dale are back. Should we try to follow them? Nah, let him go. I have my own special way of tracking people. It's like the Matrix transition music. Yeah. I'm telling you, we're missing something. I can feel it, Dale. Hey, just want to remind you guys I'll be at FanCon this afternoon signing autographs. So get those nuts ready. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What? It's my job. It's a choice. Chip doesn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I've been holding on to this for some stupid reason. Now your collection is complete. Way back then? I didn't even want to do double O deal. What? I think I just wanted you to tell me you needed me. Oh, I need you, John. Oh. Sometimes. <laughs> don't, don't get carried away. <laughs> this whole place, it smells like almond butter and, and gasoline. gasoline. But that's the rescue ranger's cologne. Grab the token. You, you left the puck. It's coming from in here. Oh my god, the chief is corrupt. Monty was literally the only person to ever use that disgusting cologne. Putty's office stunk of it, which means someone had... <laughs> Senator Butthead's got my vote. Putty's too obvious. Think, Dale. Ellie, something has been off about her the whole time. Yeah, said right away. Yeah. Ugly Sonic goes... Oh, <laughs> 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 Have a show with the FBI. I knew it. I love that Ugly Sonic gets to live on. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Justice for Ugly Sonic. Originally, it was called <laughs> Aunt Man, A U N T, and my superpower was being really charming to aunts. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Got you. Yeah. <laughs> 
looking at. Honestly, you're weird. <laughs> they are weird. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> yes. <so> <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. I command thee to all. You want a piece of me? <laughs> my guest. <laughs> <laughs> There's the exit. Go, <laughs> Dale. Oh, go. Chip. Chip, where are you? Is it the same hell with the convention center? center? Hate that place. <laughs> you should have just let me bootleg you when you came into my office. Could have saved us both a ton of headaches. Ah. <gasps> Dip. I was <laughs> always more of an Alvin and the Chipmunks person. <gasps> I grew up an Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> How about you, Freeze? Drop it. That it is him. Oh. How could you? Money. I'm a greedy little smurf who did it for the money. <laughs> I'm down at the bootlegging facility. Meet me here and come along. Well, that sounds super shady and not safe at all. I know, but you have to trust me. In Dale, when you fish upon a star, that's my favorite episode. There's a clue. Deep cut. Why is that your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> all right, think, Dale, think. Gadget is stuck in a lantern. Lanterns provide light. <laughs> Ellie has ten toes, and she probably likes Thai food. Ellie is tied <laughs> up and in danger. <laughs> she was with her. She was bloody working with Sweet Pete the whole time. I grabbed it. Yes. <laughs> that was great. Beautiful. That was so good. <laughs> They said, where the joke is, no, that doesn't make any sense, never mind. Did they figure it out? <laughs> I love how it got there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Gadget. yeah. Woo! I need your help. We love you, bud, but we just can't invest in any more of your independent movies. <laughs> okay, let's make some changes. <laughs> kooka rooka -roo. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dave Bolinari, haven't heard from you in a while. Did you not get my last seven years of messages? <laughs> oh, daily. <laughs> <laughs> I think for the first time in my life, I am getting my priorities straight. Friends are more important than business. Yeah! Damn. Probably shouldn't have thrown your phone. <laughs> 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 Peter Pan. What? Oh no. You oh, got Woody like snake in my boot. Feck. Huh. I'm gonna wreck them. Uh -huh. <laughs> he got his voice. Uh, <laughs> where are we? <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. Hey there. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> oh golly. Oh. Ah, heads up. Oh. <laughs> oh, that actually made me dizzy. <laughs> ah, finally somebody acknowledges that. <laughs> All the headbutts you see in movies. Jolly. 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 Yeah. 
Let's finish this. <laughs> so inventive. Yeah. Oh, dang. It's like a guy crushed. Yeah. Now do it. Okay, here I go. Ow. I can't believe we used to do this to you every week. Come on, where are they? <laughs> I, was to, I was about to ask. Ah, uh, this isn't good! Huh? Burn. Yes. <laughs> oh, good callback. Goodbye, Chip and Dale. Huh? This is the FBI! We've got to yeah. surround it! <laughs> Ugly Sonic! Ugly Sonic! Hit it! Get it! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're the smartest chipmunks on the planet! Oh my god, they should do a crossover with Alvin and the chipmunks. Yes. I never told you this, but I begged my mom to let me stay home from school because I didn't have any friends. I needed you more than you needed me. Oh, that's sweet. Really? Dale? <laughs> but how'd you... This thing's too special to throw away. <laughs> Rockstar to do the theme song? Yeah, right. Like a super serious version, even though everyone just wants to hear the original. <laughs> 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 Man, this is like a real movie, though. Oh my goodness. It really was. That, it's a, that's a theater movie in a lot of ways. Yeah, I feel like so I, I think, want to the fully so I think less of it if it's just... Well, it's on Disney Plus too. Yeah, like I, I would definitely want to go and see this in a theater. Yeah, like I'm bummed I never got to see Roger Rabbit, so this would be like mm -hmm. another chance. Aunt May. Is this also in the theaters? I think it. it I, the dual release. It might be. Mm. I feel like only certain theaters are willing to participate. Eric Bada! Ah, okay. Flula! Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Now hear all the voices. Dennis Hayes, but I thought he was, he was Zipper, yeah. Who is Tim Robinson? Hmm. <laughs> nice. Darkwing, say it with me. We want Darkwing! What a lot of malarkey! <laughs> we, do, we want Darkwing. <laughs> Uh, oh man! Yeah, that was good. I think they even snuck a little Yorma that was to really great. That voice was great. cameo at the end. Man, that was great. That was dazzling. That was delightful. Other D word to complete alliteration: Dale Riffic. Chiptacular. Monterey. J nah, it'll come to me. Monterageous. Uh, Monterageous, there you go. There you go. There might be a post credit scene. There's some modern day times. Yeah, there's gotta be. There's gotta post -credit be. Post credit scenes, modern day. A meta self aware post credit scene. Boo! Boo! Movie sucks now. Redo it. Release the post credit <laughs> scene cut. <laughs> Release it. All right, let's talk about it. Man, let's get these out of the way. Fuck it. There you go. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and nix the headphones as well. <laughs> Alrighty. That's right. We're trying this out. We could hear ourselves. This is weird. Yes. We're we'll talking much lower than usual. This is new. <laughs> this is prohibiting us from being able to be ourselves. This was a bad idea. It's okay. You should always try something out when it's go time. Yeah. Don't just experiment <laughs> off camera first. We never time. have time to test anything, so it's always like, let's test it out on and, an actual video. uploaded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See how it goes. Let's risk this being unusable, but maybe we'll have a new technique. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Okay. So as established in the beginning of this, I had no, I, I, my my knowledge of Chip and Dale was about just you know like what they look like. I, I had when they made the joke about Chip and Dale's the the Vegas show, and when I first heard there's a Chip and Dale trailer out. I thought it was about the Chip and Dale. <laughs> like, I thought that's exactly where my mind went. I didn't think it was about Chip and I didn't hear it was from Disney Plus. Mm. I thought it was just Chip and Dale. <laughs> They're like, oh, they're doing some movie it's about the Chip and Dale show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, and, and I, I didn't know for a while that oh, it's about the the, the chipmunks. And so going into this, there was very little things I had heard about it, other than I people the word of mouth on it was that it was a really good movie, that it was great. I uh, wasn't aware of the voice actors, wasn't aware of any of that. And as you saw in our reaction, if you stuck around for it, we have a podcast, by the way, Real Rejects Podcast. People who are already here for the podcast are like, why are you mentioning this? It's because it's going up on YouTube. Some so people, people on, on YouTube, YouTube don't know that this can be found on Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music, yes. Stitcher, wherever you get yeah. your podcasts. And it would really help us out if you'd subscribe. Yeah, it'd be cool, man. I'm trying to do a little bit more stuff there. But if you're there, here... Uh, this is getting confusing. Everywhere. Who, which audience do I tend to? <laughs> all of them. You're yeah. all welcome here in the Reject Nation. So, uh, yeah, I I thought that this film was really delightful. I did not expect such such a meta Roger Rabbit vibe uh, through it all. It's it's the plot of Roger Rabbit in a lot of ways. <laughs> you know, like. Tunes are being murdered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some <laughs> devious scheme is happening in the skeevy part of Toontown, and we got to figure out what it is and stop it. But they they at least acknowledge Roger Rabbit twice, instead of ever making a direct joke uh, about like, oh, this is a lot like plot of Roger Rabbit. Uh, that the, and it's that world of going through all the characters. But the scope when the cameos started coming in was really surprising to me because of all the different IPs, you know, it's like Roger Rabbit, very specific IP you were dealing with. If it's a Warner Brothers movie, it's only people in the Warner Brothers umbrella who you're dealing with. Well, Roger Rabbit did break ground in that they have that piano sequence where uh, it's like Daffy oh, it's and like Donald. Daffy, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was like yeah. the first, it was, it was a big moment for, for crossover rights. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Um, but still, like... But this is way, you know, further down this, that This still bridges way. a whole bunch of other types of animation style like the, mm -hmm. I, I love how they made all these jokes of, of things you can make fun of over the years of the evolution of animation you know especially with the back in the day and sometimes movies still suffer with it that back in the day cgi dead eyes look of the uncanny valley i thought was awesome uh all all the different kinds of uh, the stop motion animation with the gumby like yeah. And the way they utilize everything, there seem to be not just like obvious jokes, but a, a genuine sense of adoration for it all, which made it that much more complimented. Like, I, and I think aesthetically, the choice to make Dale the 3D animation and Chip to keep him at his hand-drawn animation also worked so in well like not just as a commentary of the t of the way times have changed but also as a reflection of who these characters are two characters who are also stuck in the past yeah in their own different ways like dale looks fondly upon it but is trying to capture the magic of the fame and success still yeah so he's like selling out there's there's parts it's funny because there were parts of it that were weirdly making me think of another andy sandberg movie called that's my boy <laughs> you know and everyone's favorite adam, Sand <laughs> there were parts adam sandler were, joint too. there were parts of it where dale it was kind of like andy's it was for some reason making me think of the andy sandberg and the and the I even mean, that's a father and son story but the dynamics of you know having andy sandberg and the way chip is portrayed here that's a r-rated kids if you're listening to this review <laughs> don't don't watch that movie um, no, this would be a good double feature. Yeah, maybe uh, actually. No, <laughs> thematically, <laughs> sure. <laughs> things about unlikely double features are underrated. And whereas Chip is stuck in the past, uh, but in a in a grudging sort of way, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I, in a bitter kind of way. Yeah, I really think like the way they are as characters is really fleshed out well, and I thought keeping that the center and the focus instead of doing what a lot of these movies tend to fail at where they get so caught up in only easter eggs and only cameos and fun appearances and quick little nods quick little one-liners they still made it a, a story that honored the, the 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 la 
cop genre, <laughs> you know? And I thought it was really inventive and exciting and, and funny. Mm -hmm. And the way they the way they did their meta commentary was was wonderful. Like I, I don't have any issues with this movie <laughs> at, at all. I don't even have I don't really have a, a single complaint. I never found it annoying or anything. I thought it was, no, it's like little nitpicks you can do, but I, I think that would just be me trying to find something that I don't actually have a problem with. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought this was pretty inspired overall. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, something I feel like especially, I mean, obviously Roger Rabbit is kind of the touchstone, but there are other things that blend, you know, cartoon reality with real life or animated characters Space with Jam. real life. Yeah, Space Jam or even the Sonic movie recently is kind of an example of that. Uh, and I feel like there is a tendency and, and i guess you could look at space jam uh a new legacy and and kind of see this happening where it's like they lean maybe a little too heavily into like that's eh, a cartoon you know there are no rules we can have reckless abandon for everything and just dump you know recognizable properties like it's funny there's so many things you can sit during this movie and go it's that and it's that and it's that blink and you'll miss it um and yet somehow i felt like they really knew where to lean into the cartoon and when to lean out of the cartoon and, and to take certain aspects seriously or to at least treat them with the credence of characters who actually care. And uh, and yeah, it, 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 it reaches this nice, um, it, was, it was like partway in, it was like at the half hour or 25 minute mark where I was like, they're treating this like a real movie. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. they're letting Chip and Dale, their emotional journey and their relationship story grow at a very natural pace whereas I feel like a lesser movie would try and fast track that stuff to get to all the fun gags and all the fun effects that you know we want to see and that are so dazzling to behold um, but yeah it's that uh, you know simplicity at the core of them having to confront and really understand both their own feelings about each other as well as themselves and, and open up about all that stuff but it's also that they're trying to help you know one of their immediate team and so while it's not like being back in the cartoon it does have this really natural core to ground it and then you have all the extra fun around that and yeah i thought this built it's funny there are a lot of similarities to roger rabbit but i thought this built really nicely and justified its existence by lovingly and beautifully combining so much and and really going to show and I, we were talking with a friend uh our friend erica a while ago who kind of put it to us this way that like a lot of people mistake animation for a genre uh, genre when really it's a medium all unto itself and this is a really great example of that because you see hand-drawn 2d animation from all different eras from like the hose style in black and white to the more modern style that looks like it's done on a computer to things in between and then you have the claymation and you have this 3d and there are multiple approaches to all those things so much so that that uncanny valley i was like wow you guys left no stone unturned in really looking at the growth of animation in all its different facets over time and incorporating those and making those characters feel alive and, and treating each of their realities or each of their forms as just part of this world. And so that's, you know, another thing that Roger Rabbit did really well is, yeah, I really believe that just all these people kind of coincide together. Yeah. And, uh, and as opposed to just breaking the wall and making some obvious joke. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's weird. It's like, it is a cartoon, but it doesn't feel as much like a cartoon as like a lot of other things can, because yeah, it's, it is like you just like, I want to go to that world. It feels so tangible, you know. And they have puppets too. And puppets, yeah. I was I was thinking of the Happy Time Murders. I was like, this is this is way more palatable than the Happy Time Murders, yeah. even, and it's doing parts of what that movie kind of tried to do. Well, I love that the way it was shot had such specificity to it. It wasn't just like some flat looking film. And they, I feel like a lot of times you, you kind of would, but they really, they really had great like symmetry and lighting to complement each mm -hmm. scene so when they're blending the animations even though it takes place in los angeles whereas uh, not to just keep making this comparison to roger rabbit or like roger rabbit that's in toontown or whatever right what's it called yeah there's yeah. toontown i can't remember what like major u.s city it's supposed to be kind of a part of well they eventually get like style. really embodied there where here you stay in la the whole time yeah yeah and 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 i thought that you know the way they blended the animation in there looked seamless it mm -hmm. didn't look weirdly misplaced 
or just some added on thing in post it still felt part of a world yeah, yeah. to the point that you'd have like I, I was noticing that there's moments where like a cg rendered character or a 3d meant to look like I, I kept marveling and wondering how they achieved some of these things or what their approach was because like when a cg character picks up a 2d animated character there's something about even that where i'm like you could probably and it probably is all done in the same effects render shot on a computer and yet somehow it looks like you did a layer where there's a CG character and then you did a different layer yeah. where there's a hand-drawn character and that again just lends more and more credibility to the interlocking and the interplay of all these different styles and effects and whatnot and yeah like this was not to slight Akiva Schaefer whatsoever because The Lonely Island has always had film style as part of their repertoire of comedy uh, and I've very much enjoyed several of the comedies he's directed with that crew, but this one was one where I was like, man, the the choices of lenses and angles to, again, lend credibility and to really make you feel like you are in a detective story or an L.A. movie or, or whatever it is at the time are, are like, really deliberate. And, and I forget the cinematographer's name off the top of my head. I mean, that's a, another, you know, sort of... Uh, a guy who's got a lot of big credits under his belt, but um, still, it was, yeah, it was so much more crafted and cinematic than this movie had to be because I'm sure it would be very easy to dish this out and put it on Disney Plus and, and plop your kids in front of it but yeah this is it, like they well I think like a lot of the jokes kids won't get <laughs> yeah, yeah that was I was I was surprised it's like it is trying to play to everybody in, in a sense but it's not trying to be too much for kids to the point where I was like I feel like the Ellie character is almost here to be she has this sort of very incredibly genuine and sort of doe-eyed quality about her and i feel like that is kind of the part where it's like okay we got to kind of anchor this so it's still a bit of a family movie but even still it's got that edge and that sense that we're not trying to sanitize it too much and we're not trying to get too edgy in a way where it's like you can tell we want to go further but we can't you know like i felt like they had a good oh, yeah. grip on how adults could enjoy this and how kids could enjoy this well, the the commentary they make, a they do a good job with characters, even with Sweet Pete. Like <laughs> I, I think they, the way they use their comedy is, uh, and, and the commentary specifically, mm. is through these characters and how one has is is hasn't caught up with the times, and the other one is trying to keep up with the times. Mm. So the way they do talk about reboots and that those knockoff. You know oh, the bootleg, the yeah, bootlegs. animated movies and stuff. Yeah, the way they talk about those, um, the way they do talk about animation and such, is all imbued in in what the characters are, are going through in the moment. Mm -hmm. The and, and like even with the rap, you know, yes. like making fun of that, the the idea of reboots, <laughs> too, yeah. like ending on that note that's almost like an adaptation ending. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> of talking about what this film is yeah without ever making it just something that is talking to the audience when the when the joke is clearly a meta joke and i think too you know even there's sometimes there's a it's, it feels like it's more fleshed out and has more depth than than the film at it, any need to really be but never got weighted down or slowed down by it mm -hmm. even with sweet pete you know i thought that was cool to hewn story <laughs> about him about peter growing up and becoming an old bitter man going you know? through what a lot of child actors go going through. through like what a lot of child actors go through and how he becomes the amalgamation of uh, so many things that have gone wrong <laughs> yeah, yeah I know. And so many like, things this that is have been the crossover and adapted and this is a crossover catastrophe when he's that big villain at the yeah, end yeah. An ip mishmash yeah. it's like literally yes. the nightmare that this could have become <laughs> yeah yeah i think that's so smart you know like i think ralph breaks the internet did a really good job on on uh, that film, I thought did a really good job on doing all the Disney spoofs and stuff. What I really liked about this one too was as many IPs as they oh we got to talk about Ugly Sonic at some point. Oh we did. as, as many as many <laughs> IPs as they sweep across here. Yeah. As many as there are, actually, the headphones helped me out there because I noticed my voice was traveling here oh, <laughs> when I was man. talking there. So I was like, oh, right, follow the base. I gotta focus my voice here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, the the uh, what, what were we just saying before I mentioned Ugly Sonic? Uh -huh. Oh, the IPs. Yeah. All the uh, with the IPs, they never went to unless I totally missed it as some random Easter egg. They never went to Star Wars and they never went to Marvel. 
They even did DC, <laughs> but, yeah. they, but they didn't hone in on doing jokes that Disney nine times out of ten would have. Like, we have Marvel and Star Wars. Let's do that. And they never went down that path. They're, and I actually respected the restraint on that. Yeah, it's like they. I think they are in there, but it's not. And and I love Free Guy, but it's not Free Guy. Where it's like, oh, I can tell the one sequence where this is after the Disney merger, and now we can do that. Yeah. Whereas here, yeah, it's like it's so they like those things pop up, but there's so many other things that are popping up that are exciting, that are featured, that yeah, get that attention. I don't remember to. the. I don't remember them being there. The Star Wars is is toward the beginning at the convention when they cut to the two mice, literal mice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's but even that is not the most obvious. Like you know, it's it's not like Dale pulls out a lightsaber at some point. Like you would yeah. imagine a Star Wars nod in a movie like this to be. And I I appreciate two again. Well, they're also at a con. You know, yeah. So, so it works within there, yeah. Exactly. And, and, and that's so brief. It's not the focus. And I thought that was another nice choice is, is it makes a lot of sense for these characters to be at conventions and signing autographs and whatever. And that gives you a chance to almost have your, like, goofy uh, Space Jam background actors who just are people in cosplay but then also have the characters mm -hmm. around uh, in real form. And, and yeah, it, it creates a world rather than a conveyor belt of references. Like, and I love that in a day and age where it's like you have Space Jam A New Legacy where clearly that's Warner Brothers partially strutting their entire stable of IPs and characters. I, I am appreciative and I'm sure that perhaps the breadth of what Disney owns is probably beyond what I'm aware of, but it seems like they probably had to pay at least certain people to use their IPs. There are definitely some Warner Brothers characters in here, and there are definitely some characters that Batman. aren't included yeah. in Fox yeah. that are in here, yeah. as much as there are a lot of Fox and other characters. Well, there's DreamWorks, too. And there's yeah. E.T. There's e they, they, um, there's a lot. I mean, Sonic is paramount. Sonic, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and that's another example of, like, you know, there's tons of Disney stuff in here, but I appreciate, and especially in some kind of spiritual Roger Rabbit successor that yeah they they went across the aisle paid a little money to other people to bring the characters together yeah. and and ex I always feel like there's sort of a laying down of the ego <laughs> when that happens yeah because this was about the animation departments yeah you know and 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 I think that got a lot of respect and the fact that they the fact that they got to get ugly sonic is so crazy to me because most of us can remember when that trailer came out and the, the outrage and the fact that they changed the design because of the outrage um and that's something they like tried to bury like they, they hid that trailer <laughs> you know yeah. and and then this character gets to live on like and be a character and a different version of sonic like a completely different version and still make fun of that in a way that it's like a recasting yeah that only works because of that outrage and yeah. it's like oh that's so funny they gotta make a character out of this and it's the benefit of of the outrage of what happened there it's kind of nuts it's it and and the original designer the original design of that kind of gets to live on even though they tweak it they make them like taller older fatter um, creepier. <laughs> creepier creepier yeah 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 but it, it's still honing in on that original design that yeah. was actually a big surprise like that was one of the most surprising things because i was like wow i i want to hear the conversation that led to them approving that on both sides yeah because that's you know a difficult moment i'm sure for a lot of animators who worked on that and for the studio who put that out and to come in and make ugly sonic an actual character and also i think it works because he helps save the day so there is a bit of like a we're not punching down too hard like we're we're acknowledging that Ugly Sonic is Ugly Sonic, but also hey, this is an actual supporting character in in a movie full of just blink and you'll miss it, you know, appearances as well. Well, it's also like we're not gonna let your character go to waste. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, part of me hopes they brought some people back who worked on the original Ugly Sonic model to yeah. do all that stuff. Like I hope the animators on this movie were treated well, because that's often a controversy just uh, among any effects or you know animation department is like. <sighs> overworked and underappreciated and underpaid blah 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 um, so I really hope that in a movie with such yeah. celebration that the animators and that department all those people got to really embrace and, and feel it, the joy that they're delivering us with the movie sounds like they couldn't get Nickelodeon Did they, there Nickelodeon characters I, I don't remember there were some. Th okay. There were some. I mean, they definitely. Because they tell that whole story with Ellie's background, but I don't recall I, seeing any characters. I don't. 
there probably are. I don't remember them being featured super prominently as like speaking or featured characters, gotcha. but there are definitely um, some. You know, it's like there's the Squidward star on the Walk of Fame, and they're 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 the an, fact that they're talking about and they Nickelodeon mention Nickelodeon, yeah. and yet there are a number of I think even on the bootleg wall there are, I think like Jimmy Neutron was a Nick show, oh, okay, um, and yeah, there are definitely Nickel there's a Nickelodeon presence. It's just not maybe the most prominent one. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, this was uh this was a surprise. Mm-hmm. I thought I thought like we'd been walking. And so many people said it was good, but I didn't know what it was about much about it and as someone who wasn't a chip and dale fan I, I, growing up not because i didn't like them I just never watched them um what channel were they on disney or a cable channel disney channel or was it abc disney, and i just didn't watch it in the morning because yeah there was a block where it was where it was oh god what was it it was rescue rangers like darkwing duck and uh ducktales uh, i'm not sure i feel like yeah, they I might have been on the disney channel uh, but i but it could have been like an ABC Saturday morning block or something like that. Or maybe they played in both places. I'm, I'm For the longest time, there's only one TV in the house. <laughs> I, still, like, I, didn't, I just didn't watch it. But this was great. And um, I, I hope people I hope people watch this movie mm-hmm. because this was awesome. Yeah. This, was, this, was, this was an awesome movie. This was really awesome. Yeah, it's one of the best off. things I've seen all year. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. This this brought me a lot of joy. I can't wait to watch it again. I can't wait to show it to people. And two, I, I appreciate, like, I thought the voice cast did a really good job because it's easy to fall in the hole of having a bunch of celebrity voices and not having it feel like a, you know, not m- missing True. actual voice actors. And I know that there are probably arguments to be had about who gets included in a movie like this, but I feel like they did have some also classic voice actors lending their talents as well. Definitely, um, definitely. But yeah, even the celebrity cast I thought was really well chosen. Like Eric Bana, I was sitting there going, is that is that one of the original voice actors or is that? And I didn't even recognize until the end, yeah. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, what did you think about Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers movie? Leave your thoughts down below. Is your childhood satisfied? I mean, mine is. Mine is. Without it playing this is the best so possible much on my outcome. <laughs> this is the best possible outcome for this. Uh, hey, let's do a patron of the day shout, shout out. out. Everett Pixelmite Baker. If ever a film demonstrated the might of pixels it's probably this film plus there was a baker in the movie he was a shady guy but he was bacon and he had bread no matter how many illicit weapons might have been hidden in the bread everett is a is a shady individual everett as well is the shady if you were a cartoon you would be like one of those cartoon robber guys with like you know the beanie hat and the five o'clock shadow and like mm. you know one gold tooth in real life though he's a cult leader mm-hmm. i would follow crazy you part I, I wish you would tell me where your compound is i'm sorry i really set you up for a dark joke and i think i went too dark there of where you went. Kids love cult jokes, though. I know. I, kids are watching these Netflix documentaries about cult leaders. Yeah, yeah, man. And I think Everett might be featured in one of them one day. And I, I just thought it'd be cool to be like, you know, people were like, hey, I saw Charlie Manson once at Spawn Ranch when I was riding a horse. I thought, like, hey, mention that we know Everett. We, we saw Everett Pixel, my baker. used to subscribe to our Patreon before he killed the crazy stuff. Yeah. Oh, man. But he gets all these hot girls. Yeah, man. Just people, following him. Yeah, man. people love a crazy person. I just don't understand. People love a charismatic, unhinged person. It, it's just he seems like so passionate. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about. And it just oh, makes you feel like you're the only person in the room. Sometimes I'm there and I'm like, yeah. he's talking directly to me when there's like a hundred hot women there, and I'm like, and it's just you, random dude. There. Yeah. So you're not hot at all. I'm sorry. But you feel hot when you talk to Ever Baker. That's the strange thing. Yeah. He's got this power, this ability to yeah. just connect to my soul, and make me do things I never thought I'd do terrible things <laughs> <laughs> terrible awful unspeakable things but hey you do what you have to for love am i right for the love of effort baker Set phones. i know right they they are drug <laughs> we're going to yeah. do asmr what happens when let's crank the game happens when we can hear the sound of our let's own voice. Game really high <laughs> and whisper really low so you can hear the inside of our mouths. Uh, every breath. 
Let's end it. Let's end the video before we blow people's eardrums out. <laughs>